I'm at Wilson Road Park, which is off the Camp Chase Trail. I'm off of Wilson Road. If you come in by vehicle, Wilson Road is right there. You just come in. And you can park. This could be a good access point for people that want to bike, run, or just walk the Camp Chase Trail. There are parking spots here. Though they are, it is still under construction. But people are still using it. Little pond right there. Now my understanding is they're supposed to put some athletic fields in here. Some baseball fields, soccer fields maybe. I'm not sure what all. But uh, my understanding is they're supposed to do some more stuff here. But you can park here. And the Camp Chase Trail is over that way. Which is where we are heading. But while I'm up here I want to show you something that I just noticed that they put in. As usually, when I come here, I don't come from this direction. I come from the Camp Chase Trail direction. So I wouldn't pass this. But if you're on your bike or something and you stop here and you need to use a restroom, they do have a restroom now. It's a porta potty, but it's a restroom. It's right in here. You can just ride your bike up. I do wish, though, they had somewhere here to lock your bike. Because if you're by yourself, you know, there's really not a spot right here to lock your bike while you're using the restroom. So I do wish they had something like that. Now, they got a couple, they got some more space there. They may put a few more here. I don't know. But hopefully, like I said, it's still under construction. But hopefully, they put something here where you can lock your bike up while you're uh, in the restroom. That's pretty handy if you're by yourself. This down here is the uh, bike depot or whatever you want to call it. Coming through here on the bike or you just on foot. There were some bikers down there on Camp Fish Trail. Just seen them go past down there. But yeah, they're gonna do something with this over here. I'm not really sure what though. I'm not sure when they plan on being done. You know, you get an answer, but doesn't mean that's when it's gonna happen. I'm going to shut it off because I see some people coming. I don't like having people on my videos. Okay, back again. Now this is the bike station here. You will have water. The water is not yet turned on. So hopefully they get that turned on soon. There's a bike repair station with air. Some tables where you can sit down and relax. Chat with other cyclists. Take a break, eat something. That's the water right there. Bike repair station with air, it's right here. Some tables, it's pretty nice in here. No place to cook, but you know, at least gonna carry cooking stuff on your bike. Uh, not charcoal stuff, most people if you got on your bike, you got one of the little, little uh, cook pots. Anyway, that right down there is the Camp Chase Trail. So you can get access to this from there. This is right there is the Camp Chase Trail. And you can also have access to this to, to the Camp Chase Trail from here. So we will also take you back to the Camp Chase Trail. It's just right around that curve on this Camp Chase Trail. So yes, they pretty, pretty much go to the Camp Chase Trail probably 50 yards apart from each other so if, if you miss it when you're out on trail you just catch an next one no matter so this is looking pretty good like i said when it's done i think it might be pretty nice um we'll wait and see what they're gonna put out there this is really good for the bicyclists cyclists it's a good spot to park there in a parking lot if you want to 
get on the trail and you're not really from this area so you want to drive out here and with your bike you can park your car there and jump on the trail here it is really between Battelle Darby Creek and downtown this is really going to be the only access point if you have a car onto the Camp Chase Trail and it is also the only spot to get water between Battelle Darby Creek and downtown now there is a small rec center there on Eureka Road just right off of the Camp Chase Trail as you hit Eureka if they're open you can go in there and get water they're probably 100 yards off the Camp Chase Trail you can get water in there but that's a big if otherwise this right here is your only access point to the trail and your only spot to get water on the trail between Battelle Darby Creek and downtown Columbus. Now there is another area that they may also be doing something. I'll walk over there and see uh, what's going on over there. It is part of the park, but I don't think any construction is going on over there yet either. Okay, this is another section here. We're just a little bit west of where we were just at. We were just through them trees on the other side over there. This here, during the construction, it was all messed up. I mean, they had piles of dirt here, and you know, I mean, it was, it was just a mess. So they've done some cleaning up in here. Um, it looks a lot better, like maybe there are some plans for this, but I can't say what they're gonna do. They could put a ball field in here. I mean, they have leveled it out somewhat compared to what it used to be. Uh, the only problem is if they did something here, you have do not have access to this section here from that parking lot unless you go out onto the Camp Chase Trail and then walk over here. There is a drive over that way that will take you over towards Sullivan. And the other possibility they could put another parking lot over here. Um, and they may just not do anything with this. I don't know. I don't want to keep spinning in circles and getting you guys dizzy watching this but um, we'll have to wait and see what they do with this uh, like I say they, they could build a pathway through there they could build a drive through there I, I don't really know but I guess when they get this part when they start doing some more construction on here and get it done then we will find out not sure why they made a little mound of dirt over there what the purpose of that is but again we'll find out I come in from that grass trail right there which is on one of the curves on a camp chase trail as I left from over there where the bike depot is at and I started heading west on the camp chase trail you'll see that little grass path right there that's what I walked in there's also another Uh, road right here so there's no paved trail coming up into this area like there was bike depot you got this here which take you also back down to the trail but I'm not sure how far over the park property goes so that there will take you out towards Sullivan this here will take you back down to the Camp Chase Trail, which we'll walk down that way. And they have periodic, you know, they have some signs placed along the Camp Chase Trail showing the park property. I don't see any here. So I'm not 100% sure that back there is even part of the park property. But they were using it and they've done some work there by painting the ground up. So that's why I'm assuming that maybe something could go in there.
okay. This is, we're back to Camp Chase Trail now. So that is part of the park, park, park property, according to this sign right there. See that where we just came from is part of the property. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. But now we are back on the Camp Chase Trail. That way there is east. It'll take you into downtown Columbus. This way here is west. And it'll take you out past Georgesville Road, down to Vitale Darby Creek, and if you feel like it, all the way to Cincinnati. So come on out and check out the Camp Chase Trail. Check out the little bike depot there at uh, Wilson Road Park. And uh, have fun biking, running, or whatever you like doing.